What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here for a special Torque Drift episode being brought to you by big thanks to the game devs. So we're going to get into the new update, the rotary update. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get into this. So I did receive an email from Billy, one of the game developers, saying, hey man, the new update drops. Some of the release notes for the new update, you know, new Mazda stock cars, new pro cars from Mad Mike's Garage, Rad Dance 2020 livery, 13 new sticker packs, basic detail and horror, two new special sticker packs from Status Error, new layouts and better graphics for the slab track. Sponsor tree and improvements, fixes on issues for games freezing in middle of battle, performance improvements, and bug fixes. So first thing, like I said, they they did do stuff with the sponsorship tree. And I'm super excited to say, I'm not sure when it happened again, but your man's back in the sponsor tree here on the PC version and on the new updated version. So we're going to go take a look big thank you to the game desk for hooking me up with some cars with some special notes for you guys about these cars so we're going to take a look at some of these the first a big one is that of mad mike's bad bull rx8 definitely an amazing car we're going to be taking a look at this car today we're going to be driving this car as well so i did get three other cars so we're going to scroll down my list of cars here like I said, it's a big rotary update. We got the stock RX-8. Now, the RX-8 is only available currently as a bonus car with Mad Mike's Pro Car. One of the things that they asked me to mention to you guys, is only available as a bonus when you buy Mad Mike's Pro Car. So if you want a stock RX-8 and that bad bull, you will get both. So, of course, we have the much-anticipated FC RX-7. Definitely an amazing car. Going to be doing a full build on this car as well. But if you see right next to it, that little yellow RX-3. So the RX-3 is in the game as well. But one note about the RX-3. The RX-3 is only available by completing the Mad Mike sponsorship tree until next week. So get on that sponsorship tree. Get on that Mad Mike level and try and complete it to get yourself that RX-3 before next week. So there is... A lot of cool cars now that we are going to be taking a look at today. We're going to be running them stock as well as we're going to be running that bad bull as well. So I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which of these three cars do you want to see built first. The RX-3, the FC RX-7, or the RX-8. So without further ado, let's go see what we can do in sidewaysness here for today's episode. We got Ocean Drive, looks like Desert Palm, Daily Challenge under construction. Go to Cali Banks, Irwindale. There's a lot of under construction, so we're gonna go to Cali Bank, Irwindale, which is probably a good place to test that bad bull out because why not take the high banks with uh, Mad Mike's car? We've done all his other cars before. That bad bull, the mo one of the most iconic uh, RX8s in the world, I feel. So we're going to dial this back. So I don't blow headphone users' ears and. We're going to go into this challenge, or actually it's not a challenge, it's a tandem. I forgot, not the daily challenge. Looks like we're going against a stock RX-8 with 726 horsepower. I don't think that's really stock. Oh, the rotary gang. Kick it in the third. Kick it in. Oh, we need to upshift. Banking red line in the bad bull. Oh, very quick, snappy transitions with this car. The audio definitely sounds like it's from his actual car. Oh, that's a rip. Did we actually finish the run, though? I think we did. Oof. Off the rip. Not, not the best run, but like I said, this car. Haven't driven it yet. That man's got a 93,000 point run. I should have been in fourth gear going into that bank. Kick it in fourth. 
Trying to stay on the man's door. Just a little tap on his bumper. Staying in fourth gear though. Ah, I keep forgetting about my clutch kick button. So, we had a somewhat decent chase. So, the car is really snappy, but it could also be because I'm on a controller. So, we did take the loss on that, but I'm going to go take a rematch because I feel like I can get a better lead now that I know I need to start the bank in fourth. Rotary taking forever to get up there. There we go, kicking in fourth, and then throw out. Nope. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't think we need to go into fifth. Oh. So definitely could probably use a little bit of tuning to suit my driving style. But we're definitely going to give it another shot in the chase. Because unfortunately we, we're getting bested. We didn't get bested by too much. So maybe we can throw a better chase run and be okay. RX-8 versus RX-8. Quickly into fourth. Yeah, suck on the door. He came up the bank a little bit early. Oh, I see what he did now. Wrecking Mad Mike's car. I'm sorry, my dude. Sorry for taking out the bad bull. So... The bad bull definitely a bad car i love it bad isn't good so we did take another loss with that not a big deal definitely trying to get the car to shake it down and get more comfortable with it so i feel like we need to go to some freestyle i say at the slab because they did update the slab so let's go to freestyle at the slab take out some of those stock cars and see what we can do with those stock rotaries we're going to start off with the RX-8, and we'll go to the FC, and then the RX-3. This one's probably not going to be as powerful, of course. Oh, very slippery. Oh. <clears throat> we just uh, done did ripped our new uh, RX-8 upside down. So I feel like this car, out of the box, has way more power than I thought it was going to have. And a lot less grip than I thought it was going to have. And I did not anticipate it. The, the, the noise of that rotary is just um, amazingly compared to what it used to be. I'm going to go into third, I feel like. I'm going to keep these things in high rev. I'm going to try to kick this in there. We're going to try and get that times five. Not doing the best, but it is a stock RX-8, so. So, we didn't do the greatest. We definitely uh, got bested in the RX-8, but for a first shakedown of it, I like it. Definitely could use some tuning. So, like I said, down in the comment section, let me know which car you want to see me build first. Oh, yeah. FC RX-7. This is what I've been waiting for one of my favorite RX-7s is this FC I've always driven FC back from the original Forza 3 days and stuff like that when I was running for Jimmy Kaido and all that in Forza's and the FC was just my go-to car. I just loved how it handled, so it's great to see the FC. I did own an FC in Florida when I lived down there. I had a black FC RX-7. Uh, unfortunately, it never actually hit the track with trying to get the motor swap and everything in there. It never actually got completed, and I had to sell the chassis when I moved. So, let's take this a little bit more. We're not going to win because the car is not fully tuned, but I like it. Definitely like it a little bit more than I like the RX-8. So let's go back and try the final car, the RX-3. Are these all 304 horsepower? 307. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. 
304, that tofu car. So the RX3 final car we're testing out here for today. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Once again, a big thank you to Billy and the game devs for hooking me up with these cars to bring you guys oh bring you guys a little bit of a first impressions on these cars. These cars definitely could use a tune, and we got them. So we're gonna build them. We need a little more power, we need some better uh, angle kits, some better suspension, although they are fun to drive stock as well. So, with that being said, let me know down in the comments which car you would like to see built first because I'm itching for a new project and I feel like I got three very good candidates right now for a build. Trying to hook it in here. Oh, just a little wall graze. So I think that'll about wrap this quick update video up for you guys. Make sure you guys check out all Torque Drift on their Instagram for all the updates. The big release is the rotary update, much anticipated with the FC, personally, and that bad bull. Once again, a big thank you to the game devs for making this episode possible. And as always, I would thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.